Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. In this quick tutorial video, I will show you how to transfer photos and videos from your iPhone to your Mac easily, fast and for free of course. There are three ways to do that. Each of the presented methods has its advantages and inconveniences. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will really appreciate that. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. Method number one, using Mac Photos app. Connect your iPhone to your Mac using a lightning cable. Open the Photos app on your Mac. In the Photos app, you will see your iPhone under the Devices section in the sidebar. Click on your iPhone to access its contents. Select the photos you want to transfer by either clicking on individual photos or by using Command Click to select multiple photos. Once you've made your selection, click on the Import Selected or Import All New Photos button to transfer the photos to your Mac. The imported photos will be available in the Photos Apps library on your Mac. The inconvenience of this method is that your photos will be saved in the photo app on your Mac and not as separate files in a dedicated folder on your hard drive. Here is the second method to save photos and videos from your iPhone as separate files in a dedicated folder. Method 2 using the image capture app. Connect your iPhone to your Mac using a lightning cable. Open the image capture app on your Mac. You can find it in the application folder or by using Spotlight Search. In the Image Capture app, you'll see your iPhone listed in the left-hand sidebar under the Devices section. Click on your iPhone to view the photos stored on it. Choose a destination folder on your Mac where you want to save the selected photos. You can also create a new folder. Select the photos or videos you want to transfer by either clicking on individual photos or by using Command Click to select multiple photos. You can also import all your photos and videos by clicking on Download All button, but be aware that it may take a while. Once you've made your selection and chosen the destination, click on the Download button to transfer the photos to your Mac. After a few minutes, you will be able to find your photos and videos in your destinations folder, and from there, you will be able to access photos as separate files. If you are transferring long 4K videos, it may take up to 15 minutes before the large video will be transferred to your Mac. That's because the lightning cable still uses slow speed USB data transfer. Now, if you don't have a lightning cable or you just want to transfer only a few photos or a short video, you can use AirDrop and transfer your photos wirelessly. Make sure both your iPhone and Mac have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled. On your iPhone, open the Photos app and navigate to the album containing the photos you want to transfer. Select the photos you want to transfer by tapping on them. Tap on the Share button. From the Sharing options, choose your Mac from the AirDrop section. Your Mac should appear as an icon. On your Mac, you'll see an AirDrop notification requesting to accept the incoming photos. Click on Accept to start the transfer. The selected photos and videos will be transferred wirelessly from your iPhone to your Mac and saved in the Downloads folder or the location you specified. The inconvenience of using AirDrop is that you are not able to transfer large files wirelessly. For example, sometimes when I'm transferring videos that are over 3GB, the process stops in the middle so it's better to use a lightning cable for transferring large amounts of photos and videos. Guys, thanks for watching. Now you know everything about transferring photos and videos from your iPhone to your Mac. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye-bye.